Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be empties, specifically makeup empties. These are products I've accumulated over the last six or so months. We have base products, powder products, mascaras, and so on and so forth. If we've never met before, my name is Chelsea and I make new videos weekly on fashion, beauty, and travel. I hope you'll subscribe down below for weekly videos. And without further ado, let's get into the empties. Okay, first up, I have two sets of lashes uh, that I used up that are just ready to be retired. These are the Lily Lash and Ken. These ones over here are from Outer Beauty, but they don't have a style name. I definitely want to go cruelty free with my beauty at some point, and I'm just kind of phasing out products like this. I feel like nowadays you can find such great quality foam ink lashes that I don't really have a reason to buy these in the future. Although this style is definitely something I would look to replicate. Two base products, the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus, this is the original formula, and the Oil Free Matte in the shade Fair and the shade Light. I've already started on another tube of this. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, I thought this was okay. It's a poreless airbrush finish, but it can make you look really, really dry. So while I did finish it, I don't think I'll repurchase. Right now I'm using Laura Mercier, which I much prefer. I used up this Facial Mist from L'Occitane. This size is TSA friendly at 50 milliliters. It's very similar to the Evian spray. It has a little bit of a refreshing scent to it. So I like it, recommend it, but not in a rush to repurchase because I have lots of face mist that I'm working through. I finally finished this up. This is the Laneige like no pore poreless cushion foundation. I bought this in Korea and it actually comes with a refill cushion. Great for touch-ups throughout the day, great for barely there makeup. When you're on the go, when you're traveling, it comes with a puff, a mirror, a gorgeous little compact. Another product I picked up in South Korea when I was there a couple years ago is this Nudism Water Grip Brightener. This is from the brand Clio. It's a click up pen concealer. Very forgiving under the eyes. Great to reapply throughout the day. Kind of has a pinky nude undertone. Great for canceling out darkness and just adding a little bit of brightness under the eyes. If you're looking for something full coverage, this is not it, but it's a great one that is very forgiving on my dry under eyes. In all of my makeup empties, I like to do a mascara lightning round because mascaras Mascara is one of those product categories I have zero patience with. If the product doesn't work, psh, on to the next one. So I'm gonna run through these really quick, starting with this. Full Fat Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. It's pretty good. Natural Bristle one, which I like. Added great volume and length, but it dried out really quickly. Buxom Lash Mascara. This is one of the very, very few rubber bristle wand mascaras that I enjoy. Find that it does great with separation length. CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast, hated it. I don't really like any of the Lash Blasts. Has a pokey, stabby wand, deposits no product on your lashes. It's just pointless, so did not like that at all. The CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof was okay. This is CoverGirl's, I think, only natural bristle wand. The wand is very similar to L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Too Faced Better Than Sex with the Hourglass Shape Wand. Sorry, CoverGirl, I just don't like any of your mascaras. So this was close. This was closer than any of them have gotten before, but still not one I recommend. And the last mascara is the Ginseng by Origins. You know, it's a brand not known for their makeup. They're more well known for their skincare. And this mascara just did nothing for me. So big fat wand, natural bristle wand, but you know, just didn't do anything when it came to volumizing, lengthening, etc. In terms of lip balm, I used up three of the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balms by Fresh. This is from the Zodiac Collection, so I keep one at my desk, one in my handbag, one in my travel bag. It's a very, very conditioning lip balm. It's a luxury lip balm. You don't get that much product in it, but it smells really good. It feels really good on the lips, and I used up three of them, so... I use up the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is definitely a great budget-friendly concealer. You can find it at Ulta. The shade I used up was C1. It's the lightest they carry, I believe, and it's very brightening under the eyes, very forgiving. Some people have compared this to Shape Tape, but the formula is totally different. It's a lot more moisturizing, blends easier, and it's not as full coverage, so it's easier to work with. So definitely would purchase that again because it's super affordable. In terms of like fair shades, they have a pretty good selection. This is a bronzer I am calling it quits on. This is the Bourjois Matte Illusion Bronzing Powder. It smells really good. It smells like sugar cookies. Um, I bought this a couple years ago when I was in Europe, and it's just, it's time for this to be retired. As you can see, I used up quite a bit of it, but I have other bronzers that I'm just reaching for right now. This bronzer can pull a little bit orange depending on the undertone of your skin, uh, but I really did like it. It's a former favorite, so gotta retire that just to make way for new stuff. Another product I need to retire before finishing up entirely is the Duo Lash Glue. This is the latex free formula. Love it, but you know, lash glues you need to replace because that's touching your eye and you're dipping and re-dipping and it's just kind of gross. I also wear contact lenses, so I have lots of things going in and out of my eye on a daily basis and it's just more sanitary to rotate out those things often. 
This is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup. This is an eyeshadow base and it has a doe foot applicator very similar to the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. In terms of a cruelty free, budget friendly lid primer, I think this is one of the best at the drugstore that I found. So definitely was a fan of that. I will also finally be retiring the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Soft Brown. Anastasia is the queen of brows. As you guys know, this was kind of a revolutionary product. It was the first of its kind on the market, but now so many brands do brow pomades. You know, you have a lot to choose from nowadays. I've been using Cabral by Benefit. That's actually what I have on my brows today. Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. It is totally dried up and expired. Going to be retiring this from my collection. This is a lipstick that has totally gone off, but I love the shade. This is a very cool tone, a beigey nude by number seven. Oh, I love that color, but if you smell it, it smells like rancid dirt, Play-Doh, just gross. So the shade name is Honey Bloom Moisture Drench Lipstick by number seven. Love it, but it's expired. I finished up the Moisture Smooth Color Stick by Neutrogena. I love these. They smell like sweet mango watermelon. They smell so good. Use it entirely up. These things are great. They're twist up sticks. I think Emily Noel was the person who coined the term the sweatpants of makeup when she was describing this. Definitely have to agree with her on that one there. If you're looking for this in store, this shade is called Almond Nude and it's definitely one of my favorites. I've worn it in so many videos over the years. This is a sad, sad day that I have to retire the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. Love it. Oh, I love this lip liner. It's luxurious. It's creamy. You can overline your lips so easily with this color, but the shade Pillow Talk is just perfection. It looks good under everything. You can wear it with pinks. You can wear it with nudes. You can wear it alone. It just looks good every single time, and I feel like it's a shade that's universally flattering, too. All right, and there you have it. Those are my recent makeup empties. I hope you enjoyed it. All of the products will be listed down below. Let me know what you want to see. As you guys know, I've been doing empties videos, I want to say, for like six or seven years now it's been a long time and i love sharing the products i've actually genuinely used up thanks so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me here on my channel if you have any questions leave them in a comment down below don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below and i'll see you very soon in the next one